Deep in a place where vegetation walks and humans are scarce, we find plants living in harmony. Here we can gather knowledge on subjects we've never thought much about, as our sources are here to tell us the tale. This is The Plant Lands. Our first stop was with the Celeprayer tree. In moments, this tree will begin to move, and we may learn things that would otherwise take us 50 years. Wait for it, wait for it. It's up! Well, it seems this type of tree grows towards the sun. The long hypothesized theory is now, wait, what's this? The roots are moving? Wait, I thought roots were simply for nutrients, but they seem to be supporting that tree. You're the person who discovered these plant lands, correct? Yes, that's right. Is there something we're missing? Well, everything that is in these lands is living, and the plants act as they do in the, our normal environment, but they do so much faster. So really, this is just a time-lapse area. As you saw, the tree moved to the sun. It would have done the same thing back home, but it would have taken its whole life, about 75 years. So the roots react the same, I'd assume. No one has ever done a documentary on roots before, have they? Nope. Well then, I think it's time to change our video to topic. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to our documentary from the plant land. We've made an amazing discovery, and have decided to follow the life of roots. Join us, won't you? Here we see a dandelion. Happy little critter, isn't he? But we're not interested in it. We're interested in what's below. It seems it has a standard root under it. This root looks like... A tape root. This type of root is basically one thick long root branching down from the plant, and it has a few smaller root systems branching off from the side. It serves as the basis for most root systems and also gives support to the main plant. Some other plants that share this root are the carrot and the radish. It is usually found with vegetation like trees and common plants in a basic environment. They are equipped to handle wind, rain, and numerous other weather patterns. Here's some fun trivia. The term tape root has also come to describe the basic idea behind something, such as the tape root for this theory. This term comes from the fact that tape roots are the basic structure roots. Would it hurt us to go to the ground? We'd get better shots. Well, it's hard to say. Plants usually leave humans alone, so I imagine they would here too. Of course, they'll get mad if you hurt them. Good going. Well, let's finish our video. We'll worry about getting home later. Here we come up on a common marigold. But the root system is far from normal. Ahem, this is my documentary. But their root system is far from normal. This tangled mass of confusion is also called the fibrous root system. They originate from the tape root and turn into this. They serve to give the plant more surface area for water and slight support. The coconut palm also has this system. When the plant is growing, it starts with a tape root and turns into this. The environment is pretty much the same as the tape root. Now let's move on. Yes, even corn has roots. The corn has a system known as prop roots. These roots are attached to the stem, and they grow up through the soil to support their plants, hence the name prop roots. The mangroves also share this system, among many other plants. They tend to thrive in tropical and subtropical areas, though they can be found in a few other places. I don't see anything close aside from water. Is it maybe time we stop the documentary? Nonsense. It has a type of root that is specific to water. The pneumatophore. Hmm? Follow me. See that sticking up? It, it serves as a respiratory system to the plant. How about you do this section of the video? This is a mangrove. It's specific to this water and has a special root system for the same reason. From the bottom of the plant, the pneumatophore, or air root as some call it, serves as a respiratory system to the plant. It also helps anchor it since it's on water. These two features make it an invaluable feature of this and many other plants found on water, such as at different breeds of the mangrove. I think about one more subject will be enough to compile into a final video. Any ideas? Oh, I think I saw a horse radish way back. Sounds like it should work. Here we see the horseradish. 
It's along the line of many plants, such as the parsnip, that have a special root system known as the storage root. It's a thick, short root that grows more so in diameter than length. Vegetables and plants that have this, for example, let's say one that lives two years, will spend the first year of its life using the root to gather nutrients, carbohydrates, and water, then for the second year use those to grow for far above the rest of the plants. So basically these roots serve as just what they sound like, storage systems. There we go. Now let's figure out how to get home. We could fix the helicopter, but that would take some time. Well, it seems these plants want us out of here soon. No, wait. I, I think they're helping us. <laughs> they are. Hold on. And that, class, is why we know so much about Roots today. The story of documentarian Arthur and his brave crew will go down in history. Now, if you open your books to page 492, you'll find that...